The brain. If the human body were a nation, the brain would be the government, the military, and the communications network all at once. It weighs just three pounds, but runs everything, from heartbeat to thought, to the way you're hearing this sentence right now. Every memory, emotion, reflex, and breath starts as an electrical spark inside that gray mass. It burns 20% of your body's energy, even when you're asleep, and operates at speeds rivaling supercomputers. But it's also terrifyingly fragile. Cut off its blood supply for more than five minutes, and it shuts down permanently. That's why every other organ exists, in part, to protect it. The brain isn't just important. It defines you. Lose it, and you disappear. Keep it alive, and even a body on life support still counts as living. The mind rules all. But even the most brilliant brain is useless without its power source, the relentless pump that keeps it running, the heart. The heart. The heart isn't poetic, it's mechanical perfection, a fist-sized muscle that never rests, beating about 100,000 times a day. It moves over 2,000 gallons of blood through 60,000 miles of vessels, enough to circle the earth twice. Every second of your life, it pumps oxygen and nutrients to the brain, the muscles, and every cell waiting in line. And yet, it's astonishingly efficient. It runs on simple electrical signals, generating its own rhythm even when disconnected from the body, a biological metronome that refuses to quit. When the brain sleeps, the heart keeps working. When the heart stops, the brain dies minutes later. It's not where love lives, it's where life does. But the heart can't do it alone. Every beat depends on a constant supply of oxygen, and for that, we look to the next organ in command, the lungs. The lungs. Every breath is a trade. You give carbon dioxide, and the lungs return oxygen, the currency of life. Two spongy organs, light as foam, but with a surface area the size of a tennis court hidden inside. Every inhale fuels the bloodstream. Every exhale clears its waste. The lungs don't just keep you breathing. They fine-tune your chemistry. They balance blood pH filter tiny clots, and even store immune cells ready to attack airborne invaders. The brain might control the body, but the lungs decide how long it runs, and they never stop negotiating with the world. 20,000 breaths a day, adjusting to altitude, pollution, and stress. The only time you notice them is when they fail. They are the silent partners in every heartbeat, but while the lungs trade air, another organ deals in chemistry, the body's ultimate multitasker. The liver. If your body were a city, the liver would be the industrial district, running 500 operations a day without complaint. It detoxifies the blood, breaks down alcohol, stores energy, regulates hormones, and manufactures proteins that keep you from bleeding out. Every drop of blood leaving the stomach and intestines passes through it first. The liver decides what stays and what gets destroyed. It's part filter, part lab, part recycling plant. And if you cut away two-thirds of it, it grows back. No other internal organ can do that. It's the quiet workhorse that never stops regenerating, never complains, never quits. Lose it completely, and you're gone within a day. The liver doesn't just keep you clean. It keeps you alive. But what happens to all the waste once it's filtered? The answer lies in the body's natural purification system. The kidneys. Two organs, each the size of a fist, quietly processing your entire blood supply every 30 minutes. The kidneys are the body's filters, extracting waste, balancing fluids, and keeping electrolytes in perfect harmony. They fine-tune blood pressure, regulate red blood cell production, and maintain pH levels with the precision of a chemical engineer. Every day, they sift through 50 gallons of blood and produce about two quarts of urine a daily report card on your body's internal health. When they fail, toxins build up fast, nerves misfire, and the body's balance collapses. But here's the paradox. You can live with just one kidney, and it will adapt, growing stronger to carry the full load. The kidneys prove that even redundancy in biology has purpose. Survival insurance, they filter life itself. And while the kidneys work from the inside out, the next organ defends from the outside in, your largest and most underrated, the skin. The skin. It's easy to forget the skin is an organ until it breaks. 
Stretching over 20 square feet, it's the largest, most exposed, and most protective structure in your body. A living barrier that holds everything in, keeps pathogens out, and regulates temperature like a built-in climate system. It sheds 30,000 dead cells every minute and replaces itself completely every month, a constant cycle of renewal that hides burns, scars, and battles with the world. Beneath the surface, nerves translate touch, pain, and temperature into data for the brain, turning skin into both armor and antenna. It's also your first immune defense, bristling with cells ready to destroy invaders the moment they land. When it breaks, infection can follow within hours. You wear your most vital organ every day, literally. But while the skin protects from the outside, one hidden organ inside controls your energy from the core. The pancreas. The pancreas doesn't get much glory, but without it, your body's energy system collapses. Tucked behind the stomach, it acts like a smart valve, releasing insulin and glucagon to keep blood sugar perfectly balanced. Too much sugar, and it tells cells to absorb it. Too little and it orders the liver to release more. It's half hormone factory, half digestive lab. The same organ that controls your blood chemistry also produces enzymes that dissolve fats, proteins, and carbs, turning food into fuel. When it fails, everything fails. Energy levels crash, organs starve, and blood chemistry turns toxic. Diabetes, one of the world's most common diseases, is essentially the pancreas losing control of the system it built. The pancreas is the body's quiet accountant, unseen but essential, and it passes its work to the next team, the organs that turn food into energy in the first place, the stomach and intestines. Digestion isn't polite. It's chemistry and muscle in perfect chaos. The stomach is your internal reactor, churning food in acid strong enough to dissolve metal. It breaks down proteins and signals the intestines to take over, where the real magic happens. Absorption. Stretching over 20 feet, your intestines are a living factory line. The small intestine extracts nutrients, amino acids, sugars, fats, while the large intestine reclaims water and forms waste. Inside, trillions of bacteria known as the gut microbiome work alongside you, digesting food, producing vitamins, and even influencing mood and immunity. It's not just about eating, it's about turning matter into energy. Your entire system runs on what passes through here. The gut is your second brain and your power plant. But once fuel is handled, the body needs defenders, silent organs that filter and fight invaders before they strike. The spleen and lymph system. Most people never think about the spleen until it's gone. Tucked behind the stomach, it quietly filters blood, recycling old red cells and storing an army of white ones. When infection strikes, the spleen goes to war, releasing immune cells that swarm invaders like microscopic soldiers. But the spleen is just the general. The lymphatic system is the battlefield, a vast network of vessels and nodes spread throughout your body, draining waste, trapping pathogens, and keeping your fluids balanced. Every sore throat, every swollen lymph node, that's your immune network lighting up in defense. Without it, even a minor cut could turn fatal. These systems don't get attention because they're not glamorous. They're too busy saving your life in silence. The lymph system is the body's underground resistance, but not every organ's story is so grand. Some are mysteries of evolution, leftover parts once dismissed as useless. The appendix. For centuries, the appendix was biology's punchline, a useless leftover from evolution. Surgeons removed it without hesitation, calling it a ticking time bomb waiting to burst. But modern science flipped that story. The appendix isn't useless. It's a hidden backup system. Lined with immune tissue, it acts as a safe house for beneficial gut bacteria. When illness or antibiotics wipe your intestines clean, the appendix helps repopulate them, restoring balance. It's small, quiet, and easily inflamed, but it's also one of the most misunderstood organs in the body. You can live without it, sure, but losing it means losing a tiny piece of your biological safety net. Evolution rarely keeps something for no reason. The appendix just had one we didn't see. It's not junk, it's insurance. See in the next video, the world's most common blood type, carried by nearly four in every 10 people, it's the universal backup plan for anyone who